I think there's a big emphasis on technique nowadays. And certainly online, there are 10,000 courses and 10,000 videos and 10,000 blogs about how to use pocket flashes, how to use big strobes, how to use available lights, how to do this, how to do that. And there's a million different things you can find. And I think that that's sort of looking outside yourself for the thing that's going to get your work, for the thing that's going to solve the problem, or the thing that's going to all of a sudden make your career spark. And I think all of that has to happen between your ears. It's not something you're going to find out there. Because lots of people can do the same techniques. Do you know what I mean? And lots of people buy all kinds of the same cameras. Techniques are like gloves, right? Like everybody can buy the same pair of gloves and put them on. And you can wear different gloves for different occasions, right? But your actual vision is like your fingerprints. They don't change. And if anything, the techniques hide your fingerprints so that they don't show through as well. And I think you don't want to be dependent upon a technique. And the truth is some photographers get a whole career going because they latch onto some technique and knock it out again and again and again. It becomes identifiable with them and synonymous with them in a way. But I think that's very limiting. You can certainly have a good career with it. But I think it's very limiting. And I think also once you pull the person off of that look, then there's nobody home. And I think that's a terrifying thing. You can get a good run out of it, but I think that's a terrifying thing. So I feel like the answer isn't in the techniques. The answer, the answer lies within, but I think it does. The other thing, if I can just say, is that the last thing you want to think about when you're shooting a picture is other pictures, right? I know it's a very common thing. People have like a, what do you call it, an idea wall or an inspiration book or something like that. And to me, that would be the last thing I would want. Like, you can't help but be influenced by all the images you see. There are countless images, and we're all bombarded with them all the time. But sort of like, one reason it's nice to get out of Manhattan, in a way, is just to get some mental elbow room, to be in a place where you're not endlessly bombarded by some, everybody else's pictures. And the last thing I'd want to do would be to be ripping pictures out of magazines or pinning them up on a wall before a shoot. That would make me insane. It's like, what I'm trying to do is get enough stillness in the lake so that I can see my reflection. Do you know what I mean? If all these rocks, if all these pictures are plopping in all the time, I can't, I can't see myself. I don't know what's there. So I feel like the last thing you want to do is do that. When I was an assistant, I remember a fellow I assisted with, uh, we both had worked for Arnold Newman back in the day. And he had just started shooting. I wasn't shooting yet. And he said, you know, when I get into a CEO's office, the first thing I think of is, how would the old man shoot this? And I remember, I was like 21, I remember thinking, geez, that is the last thing I want to be thinking about. Not because it's bad, it's just those are his pictures. I couldn't even begin to shoot that. That's the last thing I want to be thinking about. Do you know what I mean? And I don't want to be thinking about how would I shoot it. I just want to be thinking about shooting it. That's it. Like, I think you just need to be there in the first person with all your cylinders firing, your eyes wide open, and be sensitive to what's going on, and be ready to be nimble. Like, if somebody walks in and they're pissed off, you got to run with it. If all of a sudden it turned out you thought you had an hour and you have five minutes, you got to run with that. If all of a sudden you thought you were going to use 50 lights, but they got left behind because the plane didn't make the connection, you got to work with no lights. You know, I started working with lights I buy at Home Depot just because my lights didn't make it one time. You know, it's, you got to just do it. You got to make it happen. Nobody looked at the picture and said, oh, Greg used Home Depot lights. You know, I'm surprised it wasn't up to his normal work or something. You know, it's, nobody knows what goes into it. You have to be able to be very resourceful.